turns out that on the bike hydration is more than just taking a couple of sips of whatever liquids in your bead on every now and then. I hate to admit it, but until I started researching this film, it's something that I've been getting wrong. So typically, if I was going out for a relatively short ride, under an hour say, I wouldn't take any kind of drink with me unless it was really hot. For longer rides, I would fill my bead on with my favorite electrolyte drink, such as the Hi-5 Zero tabs, and this was fine, but occasionally I'd get increasingly tired as the ride went on. Getting personal for a second, I'm a real sweater, so topping up my electrolytes was a really good move, but the reason I would get tired was because I wasn't doing the same for my ever-depleting carbohydrates. Nowadays, there are so many sports drinks on the market, it can be very confusing. Add to this that many of the brands use the term hydration in their sales blurb, and it can be very easy to believe that we're doing the right things for our bodies. The average adult male is made up of around 70% water. When we get down to specifics, the lungs are around 80% and the heart and brain around 75%. We need to stay properly hydrated for our bodies to carry out its normal metabolic functions, but even a modest 3% decrease in hydration can start a whole swathe of problems, ranging from dry skin, headaches and dizziness. And then at 15%, you run the risk of actually dying of dehydration. So with that cheery thought, drinking anything on the bike is obviously better than nothing. But with a bit more planning, what we drink can actually help us to ride further and faster. Thirst is actually a very bad indicator of dehydration. Basically, if you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So the trick is to drink a little and often, even if you don't feel like it. The perfect sports drink will do a couple of different things. It will hydrate us, replace electrolytes lost through sweating, and replenish carbohydrates to combat fatigue. Carbohydrates are the body's primary source of fuel, and typically we need to consume between 30 and 60 grams an hour to maintain a decent level of energy. One liter of good quality carbohydrate sports drink will contain the magic 60 grams. So you will need to drink around 250 milliliters every 15 minutes to get the required amount. The rub here is that your body can only process around one gram of carbohydrate per minute. So if you take more than this on board, you run the risk of an upset stomach. So it's very important to get the concentration right if your drink is a powder that needs to be made up with water. However, research suggests that if your carbohydrates come from fructose, it can be absorbed slightly quicker at one and a half grams per minute. So pay particular attention to the label when selecting your drink. If, like me, you're a sweater or your ride is longer than an hour, or is in very hot weather, you will also need to think about replenishing electrolytes. In other words, the salts and minerals that are lost as you sweat. Again, these are vitally important to normal bodily function. Without them, we can experience cramp, fatigue and nausea. Many of the complete sports drinks already contain electrolytes, but you can buy specific additives such as Hi-5 Zero and OTE Hydro which come in tablet form and are dissolved in water. Now this is where I have been going wrong, thinking that an electrolyte drink alone will give me everything that I need for my ride. What I should have done is either use a combined carbohydrate and electrolyte drink or used the electrolyte drink to keep me hydrated and then supplemented my carbohydrates with gels, bars or normal food such as the humble banana. Finally, we come to recovery drinks, which should be used after your ride. 
A good recovery drink, usually in the form of a shake, will be high in protein, which is used to repair and rebuild muscles that have been damaged during exercise. Typically, these should be consumed within 30 minutes of you finishing your ride, as this is the optimum time for your body to take advantage. Some cyclists, though, prefer to use recovery bars or eat a light, protein-rich snack such as egg on toast or the classic all-purpose superfood, the banana. Yes, I love bananas. So that, in a nutshell, is on the bike hydration. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.